Hello friends. So let's continue with the reactive intermediate. So this is the part three of my lecture from reactive intermediate. So, so I will start with this. We'll do these two uh, problems. So what happens? We have given MCBA. MCBA. So we have uh, keto and alkene. But always, if there is a keto, so the possibility of biovillager is more. So it will undergo biovillager oxidation. So what will happen? Either the O will insert here, or it will insert here. So let's see of which one has the highest migratory aptitude. So here it is a, a secondary two degree carbon, and here it is a three degree carbon. So three degree carbon has more migratory aptitude than a two degree. So this one will migrate, and so O will get inserted in between this bond, right? So just writing the product. I have this O will go here. Fine. Now in the second step we have given a base and water. So what the base will do? Here you can see the base will break this one, right? So if we have a OH minus group, we'll attack here and right. So we are getting let's say this one. Here we have CO two H. Here we have O minus and which uh, will take up a proton from water you can take a proton from OH so just rewriting this uh, we can write it like this let's say so we are writing like this so this is say one this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5. So this ring we are taking, 5 member ring. So let's say this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, let's say this is 5. Right. So in 1 we have OH group down the plane. So the OH group will be down the plane. In 4 we have acid group again down the plane. So in 4 we have an acid group. down the plane. In 5 we have OME which is above the plane. Right. CH2 OME. So this is above the plane. And at 2, 3 there is one double bond. Sorry I forgot to write. Here is a double bond. Right. Fine. So now we have given I2 Ki base and water. Right. So what I2 will do? Now I2 will Tap here, so basically what happens? I we have I, so it goes like this, so it will form a three member ring and it will be it will be above the plane because this acid is below the plane, so and this is also below the plane, so it will be above the plane, right. OH fine. So this is our OH. This is our CH2N fine. Now we have given a base. So uh, it will abstract a proton from the acid, right? So it will abstract a proton from the acid. Fine. Now what happens? This will let's say one, two, let's say one, two, three, four. Uh, 5 1 2 3 4 5 right oh I did a mistake oh here it's it was like one CH2 was missing here huh? right uh, here one CH2 was there that's why I'm counting uh, right here one CH2 is there one CH2 then 
here. Now it's fine. Now it's one, two, three, four, five. So it will form a five-member ring. It will attack below the plane, and this opens up, right? So we will get this as the product. Here it will be O C O C H two. Five member ring, and here we have I. So this is the final product of this reaction, right? Okay. Now let's move to the second one. So in second one, uh, you are very familiar with this reaction. That is the Wittig reaction, right? So you know Wittig reaction. So it will be a Wittig reaction. So what will happen here? We have a dibromo derivative. We have PPH three, so it will attack here. Bromine leaves that leads to PPH three plus right. Okay. Then we have a sodium hydride. So what sodium hydride will do? It will abstract a proton from here. So basically, PPH three plus here a negative charge, and this pushes here, and bromine leaves. Right. So we are getting this one. Now again we have a uh, sodium hydride in the medium. So. It will take up this acidic proton. It will take up this acidic proton. So our elide is formed, right? Now we have. So I am keeping this one only. So this is our elide, right? So this is our elide. So we have a aldehyde group, which right still attack here. It will go here. So we have a carbon. This is O minus. This is PPH3 plus. We have OH, right? So uh, phosphorus has a strong affinity for oxygen, so there will be a bond formation here. Okay. After the bond formation, what happens? So POPH3 will leave. What we are getting, we are we are getting a double bond and a double bond, right? Like a, a aline system. Okay. Now you have given base. You have given a base, so it will abstract this proton from this. Will abstract this proton. Okay. So now it will attack this position, and fine. So what happens? Leads to formation of a six-member ring. So hydroatom, right? We have double bond, and this is negative charge, and it will uh, take up the proton from uh, the the proton which gets away from this uh, OH group. It will take up that proton, and leads to formation of this product. So this is uh, basically. Uh, uh, Wittig reaction, this application of Wittig reaction. So this uh, one uh, came in the TIFR exam. I hope in 2018, and this one came in the GATE exam, mm -hmm. 2018 GATE exam. So uh, that's all for the video, and uh, I will upload more, more and more example on reactive intermediates. So thanks for uh, watching the video.